it's much later on from the bit you just saw. It's actually three days later and I'm back in Scotland in my actual house. I don't live in Turkey now, unfortunately. Kind of wish I did. I just thought I'd provide an update to my tattoo because, you know, just to see how it's been in three days and I watch tattoo vlogs and people do an update so thought I'd give it a go. So this is my tattoo. It's healed a bit. It's a bit bruised, just there. The If you know Pink Floyd, then you recognise this. You know, it's from the Pink Floyd album, Animals, which is one of my favourite albums. I think my Pink Floyd albums go from the wall to animals and then everything else. <laughs> so it's a bit bruised like I said but it's healed very well I'm very happy with it I'm just waiting for it to like shed I say shed but you know like if you've ever had a tattoo you know that it goes like hard and like it starts to like ch chip off you know what I mean like my first tattoo that did that and now it's like smooth to the touch where this is a bit like rough and bumpy so that all the excess ink let's say will all come off in the next three weeks. I am moisturising it once in the morning when I wake up and once at night before I go to bed and I always moisturise it after I've had a shower because you know and I avoid getting it wet even though like it's not like it's gonna like run off my arm but I just avoid wet and like sun exposure. It's a teeny bit sunny but I live in Scotland so it's never sunny and if it's raining I will always like wear a jacket and stuff. So yeah, if you have any questions about the tattoo, or me, or like tattoo ha advice you want to ask me for, then I know I'm not the most tattooed person in the world, but I, I have had some experience, so feel free to leave any comments and I'll try my best to respond, but I will always respond because I don't get many comments as of right now, so. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time.